Bravo has gone neutral. What's up everyone, it's Flip Aquara here and today I'm going to talk about my favorite build in Division for PvP these days. Yesterday I uploaded a video on YouTube about 3 strongest builds in the game for PvP not many people are talking about and concluded that 5P spread plus reckless is unarguably the strongest of all. Many people have asked me to make a video on how to properly spec in this build. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how I have set this build up followed by a last hand match played while wearing this build. So let's get started. I also want to make a disclaimer here that I play on console and my accuracy is nowhere near as PC players. So please don't judge me on that. So first I'm going to talk about the chess piece. I'm using a reckless chess piece and my major attributes is health and exotic damage resilience followed by ammo capacity. The mods I'm using firearms with health, both mods contain firearms with health. My mask is Predator Mask Classified, it's got major attributes as crit chance and minor attribute as burn resistance. Um, I've also got it spec as firearm. My knee pads are modded with stamina and they have got 9% crit hit damage as major attribute with 33% shock, bleed and burn resistance. I've also got them modded as um, firearms with health and 6% first aid self heal. My backpack is again Predator Mark classified. It's spec into firearms with major attributes as 9% crit damage. And I have got prototype firearms mod and health mods. Predator Mark gloves again 17% crit damage, SMG damage, and crit chance. It's spec into firearms. Holster, pretty standard, I've got crit chance rolled on it. Let's go and have a look at the guns. My primary weapon is the house, of course, and it has got deadly, responsive, and card counter. The attachments I have is extended mag with 120% size, 4% crit damage, 5% rate of fire, small optic pro red dot side, I've got 18% crit damage, 3% crit chance, 6% headshot damage, muzzle I'm using loud wind break with 19% crit hit damage, crit chance, headshot damage, small barrel I'm using crit damage again. Overall my damage is sitting at around 27,416 with crit chance 43%, crit damage 135%. So it's pretty high, it's pretty high com considering how I have set this build up. Secondary weapon I'm again using a house. And it's got deadly, destructive, and cat counter, almost similar attachments. Um, so this is pretty much my build is, and I think this is the strongest build in the game because it gives me 24% continuous, uninterrupted extra damage. In my skills, I'm using tactical scanner, which gives me seven and a half percent crit chance and 9.70% critical hit damage. I'm also using overdose um, just to get some extra health. In my talents, of course, I'm using adrenaline to give myself immunity, sharpness to apply bleed. Um, also using precision. Uh, it's a very important talent. It gives uh, it gives you it it pulses your hostile for 10 seconds after you headshot them. And of course, on the move, that gives me 15% damage reduction uh, for 10 seconds after I kill someone while on the move. So overall I'm running around 7,870 firearms, 5,224 stamina and 2,961 electronics. My toughness is sitting at around 409,000. My firepower is around 573,000 and my skill power is around 88,830. So this is pretty much what I'm running and I'm pretty happy with that. Let's watch a last 10 match which I play with this uh, build and decide for yourself. Has been taken. Fortification at Charlie is under attack.
gone neutral. Surrender the lead. Turret has been enabled in Charlie. Hostiles have Alpha. Turret is enabled in Charlie. We've taken Charlie. Your spawn relay is now active. Is enabled at Charlie. Turret activated at Charlie. into the lead.
Points for kills is now active. They've taken Bravo. Fortification and charging has been a 
eliminated.